What are your thoughts of a WrestleMania, whether it be in Orlando, Miami, or somewhere in Florida, somewhere down the road? There's no question that, that uh, WrestleMania in its, uh, uh, well, we're getting ready for our 32nd celebration in Dallas and in Arlington. With Over 100,000 people. We're, we're, we're going to uh, uh, work to create unprecedented outcomes. And we have an amazing set of partners in Dallas and Arlington and with the Cowboys who are helping us to vision that blueprint for our WrestleMania week celebration. We're starting to have the discussion about the placement of WrestleMania 33 through 35, the years 2017 through 2019. We've never been in a position to think that far out. And that shows you the growth uh, of, of the property, the growth of the week-long celebration, and the growth of our partnerships with host communities around the country. There's no question that uh, Florida has been an enormous uh, uh, point of success in uh, uh, WrestleMania 24 uh, in Orlando, uh, with WrestleMania 28 uh, in Miami, and uh, both of those hosts uh, did extraordinary jobs in welcoming the WWE universe and um, uh, are considered in so many ways um, as, as having been very successful destinations. And I think what's important to say too, so I, I think it's fair to say at a minimum that we hope that both will be an active part of those discussions, but we also hope that other parts of Florida, whether it be Jacksonville, whether it be Tampa, uh, other major cities uh, will actively take part. Our fans have responded in resounding fashion that, that they love uh, not only WrestleMania and the WrestleMania week offering, but they love traveling to destinations and making this their family vacation, making this their annual rite of passage and being in a place where they can experience all that there is to experience around WrestleMania has now become an important point of distinction as we consider future host cities. Townsend Boer, you're the best. Thank you as always. Thank you, James.